So we're about to taste six different Rieslings. Three of them are from Australia. Three of them are not from Australia. We're gonna pit, pit our examples of Riesling against the rest of the world and see how they stack up. So let's get into it. And don't forget to join our Discord and you can get a nice little discount code for all of the wines we try today on our dear friends at Different Drops wonderful website. <laughs> All right, cool. So first bracket up, we've got Riesling, three, and we don't know which three, right? We have no, no idea what three. So three are from Australia, three are not from Australia. We don't know where they're from, but we can take a pretty good guess. All right, uh, wine number one. Ooh, looks like water. Chalky, great acid, bit of that kind of, yeah, a lot of lime, heaps of lime. There's a nice stone fruit thing, it's like a lemon balmy kind of aspect. Yeah, that's lean, very lean. Honestly, it's one of the more citrusy and not much else Rieslings that I've had as of late. I mean, pretty good wine. Uh, really, really great wine. It's great Riesling. I don't think it's terribly expensive, uh, to be honest, and I do think it's from Australia. Simple as your Riesling. This is stuff that I want at the pub like every day. Not every day, but like, a few times a week. It's like when I want a glass of dry Riesling at a pub, this is exactly what I want. This is just a, it's such a great crowd pleaser. I mean, anything that you want to pair, like anything you want a bit of citrus with, that'd go fantastic. I don't even put my hair up. I'm going to be playing with it all episode. Otherwise, this is going to get so distracting. So anything that you want citrus to go with, so, you know, like chicken and things like that, it would be pretty cool to pair with. And I don't think it's terribly expensive, but I don't think it's terribly cheap either. So I'm going to go around about 30 bucks and I'll buy 12 because it's Riesling. I'm probably going to buy 12 of all of these. <laughs> Wine number two. A little bit more color to this one. Kind of golden is really interesting. That don't know if that indicates oak or skin contact or age. Still in that citrus world of Riesling. This does have a little bit more. The other one, like, you know when you have fresh lemon juice and it sort of makes you just, everything just tighten up a little bit. This isn't making me do that quite as much, which I'm here for. Fudge knuckle. That is a wine. That is a wine. That is a wine. Yeah, I really love this orchard fruit kind of character that's going on here. Really, really cool. I actually really like this one. I really like this one. This underripe green apple thing is really quite appealing here. Still lovely acid, like just up in your cheekbones as you swallow it, just goes, twing, hello. <sighs> that color is more reminiscent of being Aussie, so we'll say Aussie. Well, it's expensive, and if it isn't, it's a bargain. There is a monumental shift between wine number one and wine number two. Um, I personally believe wine number one's very minimal, like, you know, straight up and down one dimensional. Excellent little reasoning. I think it's just got a little bit more complexity. Love that kind of orchard fruitness. I love that texture, but that, that, that green apple tang to it is just so inviting. Yeah, I'm really into this. So 12 all day. Will be $28. Slightly better than the last one, not as good as six. <laughs> All right, one number three, back to the water. Back to the water color. This is interesting. Doesn't remind me of Australia. It's got, it's, it's a little bit cooler, it's, but then it's also got that kind of methylated spirits, kerosene aspect. It definitely has that. It's kind of could be like a dry style German Riesling, um, but it doesn't really have that complexity in like that. I mean, well, it does have complexity. It's like, you know, like calamansi citrus and like that kerosene thing is really cool, but and it reminds me of, I think it reminds me of a dry German thing. So something like maybe from, Definitely more oak. It's getting, you're getting sort of uh, like hazelnutty, um, way less citrus, much softer. It's not doing that thing where it's going twang acid. I think we've gone back to Australia. I don't think this is old world. Kind of a calamansi lime kind of vibes, which is like, you know, like tropical Southeast Asian citrus. Um, it could be a bit of a fun producer to somewhere like Nahe uh, in, in Germany, maybe like, because they can produce some like pretty more uh, generous styles of, of Riesling, maybe America. Cool though, pretty cool. Don't mind it, don't mind it. Not as much as the first two though. <laughs> Kind of in between the second wine and the fourth wine, uh, and the third wine, this is the fourth one. So a little bit more color here. Got some suspended CO2. The cough lozenges that you would use, that your mum would give you, that are actually like really good for a sore throat. And then you've got butter menthols, which are basically just lollies that kind of help your throat a little bit. And this smells like that. It's like a medicinal lolly. This is the really cool thing about Riesling. And there's many cool things that we're delving into Riesling here, but it's at length. Awesome. That is a ripper wine. That the balance of sweetness and acidity here is just seamless. I reckon that's German. It's a little bit sweet. It's really cool. Um, it's like this really intense fruit flavor, which is I think what I was getting on the nose. Oh, man, I'm really interested in this one. It, it's a white wine, which is not something that you associate with a wine with length, but you can continue. Like I'm still tasting this thing. Like it's still going, going the distance. It's going the speed. She's all alone, all alone. All... Not alone for 90 bucks, I'll pay for that. And 12 bottles, pretty please, because that's a no brainer. Awesome. <laughs> 
Platinum 5 has some real deep color to it. That's that gold spectrum, that's pretty wild. Interesting. I think, especially just after wine number four, this one is really falling a little bit flat. It's not offensive, it's fine. It's not really, it's not doing heaps. It's got this nice savory characteristic through it. It's not tannin, but like there is like a little bit of texture to it, which is cool. Cool example, really cool example. Um, again, not what I was expecting, because it's a dry wine, dryish wine. Like it's a relative spectrum when we're talking about Riesling from the old world. You very rarely will see, say rarely, we very rarely see uh, botrytized Riesling that is dry. Usually most producers will take advantage of the fact that they can uh, produce these amazing sweeter styles. That's a beautifully complex wine. So wild. I love that level of sweetness. It is absolutely gorgeous. I reckon, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I reckon that might be Austrian. Not Australian, Austrian. Um, I think that's epic. Uh, 12 bottles for me, I think that's so interesting. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm pay 80 bucks for that because I reckon that's just so wild. But yeah, not, uh, it's a, it's another classic three bottler. Um, I would pay, I reckon this is Aussie and I would pay 32 bucks for it. <laughs> All right, number six, this is coppery as hell. Still in that real, like this is probably the darkest of the lot so far. Like the, looking at this, I'm like, yeah, that's Chardonnay. It's not Riesling, but. Interesting. So two minutes, I think the last two were from Europe. I think this one's back in Australia. Uh, I think it is a matured. It's got this like really lovely kind of mandarin citrus there as well, but lovely oxidative character to it. Um, I'm gonna say this is French. Well, this might be from um, Alsace. That's really cool. It's really cool. I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to. I thought that this might be in the category of just sort of like sweet, juicy, easy Sunday afternoon drinking picnic sort of wine, but it's not. It's got that little sort of burst of fruit, which I did expect, but then it doesn't follow it up with sweetness. It follows it up really beautifully, actually. Look, it's not bad. I personally would pay like 35 bucks a bottle for it. Then I'd buy one bottle. Not my bag, not my bag, sorry. Um, all right, a lot of wine, a lot of wine bought, a lot of money spent. Let's see what the guys think. Uh, wine and lineup is gonna be very challenging uh, because I bought four, K four dozens. So I think we're gonna have to get the boys in here to really nut this one out. No. Start. Recording, recording. Welcome back. Gentlemen, <laughs> uh, mind the continuity error. What did we think about these six wines? <laughs> I, I really, really love this bracket. I really, 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 really love this bracket. It, I've been dying for Riesling for a while. I and these are cracking. I, I bought a lot. I bought a lot too. My loins ache for Riesling most days of the week. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with this lineup. I thought this was sick. Yeah, I, I thought it was, uh, so like when we said we were doing a Riesling tasting, I just had this idea in my head. I'm like, okay, it's gonna be these sorts of things, especially yeah. being half Aussies. And none of them were really what I was expecting, but yes. they were all pretty good. Like there was none that I was like, this sucks. It was just like, yeah. none of these are like the, hibiscus mm. fruity things that I mm. usually look for. Yeah. But there was one that I fucking loved. Yeah, there, there's a couple, there's, well, there's four in here that I thought were absolutely outstanding. Um, All right. So yeah, really, really good. Shows our love of Riesling. It's like, you know, mm. uh, you know, a great bar in Adelaide, our friends at Hellbound, have, there's a sign of the law that says, on the 11th day, God created Riesling. And this is a bracket that proves it. Identifies yeah. that as We true. know Jesus drank Riesling for a fact. Yeah. It has been, been archeologically figured out. It's just true. Sure. <laughs> the father, the son, and the Moselle. Um, uh, anyways, uh, wine number one. Uh, look, this is we we all grew up on this stuff. We yeah. grew, we we poured this stuff for our parents. We yeah. may have snuck a couple of sips every now and then and didn't like it, but this is good old fashioned Aussie Rizza. I thought this was clear. I thought 100% agree. I thought it was one of the great value numbers as well. Like yeah. Yeah, and young, like so young, yep. so super young. Like that'll be a 2023 vintage, fresh as. Like, yeah, yeah, lovely, loved it. It's embarrassing. I said it was not Australian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, there was this weird part of me that I was like, is that one of those like kind of like good value like German dry things? Yeah, like you know, but. I just like that kind of like stone it's fruity. Very dry. It's, it's, so it's achingly dry. Yeah. It is like, like Sahara there desert with like levels a cabinet of cabinet style. Like he could yeah. be there. Like, I know. I, uh, there was something in the back of my head when I was texting this. Like this could be fucking gem, but you know, like, no. like so. Citrusy. I'm going with my gut here. Always go with yeah. your gut in the blind. I'm tasting. saying Claire Valley. He's wrong. I'm right. That's how it's. Yeah, I'm go. going Waterbay, not Polish Hill. I wanted three <laughs> bottles for thirty-eight dollars. Rough, dude. I was. I would drop thirty, but I'd definitely buy twelve yeah. and a half. Yeah, I was six for twenty-seven. Yeah, okay. How much is it, Lucky? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Good like going. Slot. 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 I know. There are some German bargains, dude. Yeah. Appropriately. 
Hey! Did you say water bell? I said water bell, baby. Dude, he's oh on. Oh my man. god, man. That's really well good. It's about the difference between limestone and slate suckers. It's 100%. all. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, Chloe Claire 2023 Riesling. Um, and you're right, like this is the these are the styles of wine that we poured for our folks. Yeah. Snuck a glass. Like that's so familiar. There's a lot of nostalgia there. Yeah, it's so Starting good. And Chloe Claire, I believe, is like a side project of the Barry family. Okay. So, so I, I, I think so. Please don't quote me, but the people at Different Drop will know exactly Get what in I'm the comments. About. Correct but him. yeah, like this is like a side project of one of the Barry kids. And it's like, you know, you can go to the cellar door. It's excellent stuff. It's mm. really, really cool. Speaking of excellent stuff. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, this was good. This is all pretty much my wine lineup, I reckon. Yeah. This was just fucked good. I couldn't decide, like, I love so many of the wines so much, I really couldn't pick between wine and lineup, so I'm, I'm really happy to defer here. Yeah. But this was, like, I, I thought this was, like, another Aussie one. Yeah. Um, and I thought this was, like, a cool climb of Victoria or a Tassie kind of thing, just, like, at its finest. The texture on this is just amazing. Oh, the yeah. nose is really good now as well. This oh, has been open yeah. for a little while. Um, I thought this one was Aussie, uh, just because some of them have to be. Uh, I thought this was going to be a bargain. I really yep. did. I thought oh. it was going to be 28 bucks. I wanted four bottles of it. I went German, 90 bucks, 12 bottles. Yeah, I wow. went 12, I went Tazzy, I went like 35, but I reckon I'm pretty pessimistic here. That stuff's amazing. It's really good. How much is it? Bargain. <laughs> magic number? That is, that is not a magic number that is wine, but it is the magic number. number we will accept this. <laughs> Dude, Tazzy. That, two for two. Two for two. That's amazing. Well <laughs> done, dude. Well I done. I mean, look, you know, they say Riesling uh, uh, translates terroir as good, but yeah. One of our good old mates. He's mate back at it again. Peter Dredd, Dredd coming through with the, with the hits. Dredd. With the absolute hits. Oh, the texture on that is just so amazing. That's, That's such a wine. It's a good wine. That is so, for 38 bucks, that is such That's a it, wine. That, yeah, no. You, we see, like, again, like you Damn, called the so German, you'd spend like 70 bucks on that. 90. 90, 100%, hell. dude. Yeah, big you, fan. You're totally, that's punching so far above its weight. Good one. Number three. Continued. Oh, no, no, this one, I, uh... I had a bit of a, I had a, bit of a dip here. I had, yeah. a bit, I had a bit of a dip here, too. I thought it was WA. I went for two bottles. There's a, there's a lot more wine make, it's a winemakery wine. Like, there's a lot more barrel work, turbid really ferment, well. um, that reduction. It's like, it's... I couldn't possibly peg it as being uh, German, but happy to be wrong. I think the- Wasn't my cup of tea though. When I, I, I tasted first with this bracket, when I tasted it, it was like that kerosene kind of mm. thing was really prominent. It was almost like, it wasn't even caro, it was metho. Yeah. It was like methylated spirits, kind of <laughs> like high tone. And I actually enjoyed that character to it. I liked that character in the wine, but you know, when you're stacking it up against like the previous wine and then a couple of wines we'll talk about later, it just kind of, it shirks away. Um, I thought this was going to be one of those kind of like entry level German numbers that's made dry. Yeah, I agree with essentially most of what you said there. I, I thought it was might have may, may have been Italian. I don't even know if they grow Riesling in Italy, do they? Yeah, yeah, they bit. do. Yeah. They do it. They do a bit. It's not cool. it's not a calling card, but they definitely do it. Yeah, definitely on the nose. It's that way oakier thing. So talking mm. about it being a winemaker's wine, someone's obviously spent a bit of time thinking about the way they wanted to do it. I thought it had a nice nutty thing. I wanted three bottles, and I yeah, it's European, so forty four bucks. All right, yeah. forty five and six, and I thought double. So way. plus forty. What are we going? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I think it's definitely okay. worth. It's. I think it's worthy of that. <laughs> Oh, what on WA? WA. And something that Dude. I call. I, thought, oh, I actually called. I actually called this on the tasting as on well. On the wine, yeah, Frank, yeah, nice. Well, like yeah. I generally find this for my money is maybe the greatest riesling in Australia, and it's yeah. really not shown well, particularly for for us today. It's really reductive. Yeah, it's a bit really, reductive. Really reductive. It's, it's twenty two, mm. so it's it's probably it's very very strange. I don't know, um, but you know, like year on year, I'm always impressed by this this wine, but. Not this time. That's so, very interesting. All right, so got to be German. I thought it was German Riesling. I thought it was. I thought it was Victorian. I reckon. Uh, I thought it was Victorian. I like. Don't get me wrong. This wine is awesome. sen fucking sensational. Yeah. This is such a good wine, dude. The nose is unlike anything I've had in a Riesling before. That is yeah. wild. This is the perfect balance of sweetness to acid. It is just so poised and delicate. I just thought the fruit ripeness was a little bit more generous than I expect from Germany. Okay. Um, so I, that's why I went in Victoria. It might be just a hot vintage, yada yada. I'm not like. I'm not, I would love, like, if this is in Victoria, I'd be like so stoked to like go and yeah. support them because I head over heels in love with this one. It's yeah. got that sort of stewed, sort of vegetal yeah. aroma that I sort of associate with like this full phenolic brightness. Um, yep. Love it. Love it. All about it. Uh, 90 bucks and 12 again. Uh, I was I was I was sixty bucks and twelve for sure. I was seventy five bucks and twelve. It's a sweet. Yeah, <laughs> let's yeah, go. This is the one that I was this like is the one blown that away by. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Loved it. it's amazing. With this. Lucky. Whoa! Whoa! 
What? $24? What? $24? No. Dr. Lucid. God damn. That Oh, how's the colour of the bottle though? Dude! Oh, it's cobalt blue! Put it up against the Melanoma 5000 and that is just like the pinnacle colour. that is mine. That's You sick. into this? Yeah, I'm so this, into we need, that. We need a wine for the people pack of wines. Yeah, this Looking is at it. you, different drop. Uh, yeah. Buy this up, this is in the pack. This is 100% in that little... The wine for the people choices of the year. That's that is, amazing. That's, that's, that's unbelievable beat. shit. That is unbelievable shit. Jesus Christ. 24 bucks. That is wild. Have we got any non-Australian wines or are you messing with us? That is, that is, that is Germany. That's Germany. Oh, that is Germany. How is it $24? Dude, we don't know. How can you get anything from... Don't know. Alright, cool, I got a German one right. <laughs> <laughs> that is yes. wild. That is cool. wild. Uh, what? Holy shit. Okay, blow my socks up. Right. That is that beats the France thing that we had like yeah, years Fran, ago. France, yeah, yeah, yeah. France, something or other. That's yeah. Uh, yeah wow. Uh, next one. Uh, also adored. Absolutely yeah. cool. Uh, how cool is the botrytized kind yeah. of fruit on this? Like it is. It's not so, like too sweet. The leasiness is really cool. It's probably got a bit of oak in there. That is such a cool take on Alsatian. Raisin. I went Austrian. Austrian. Cool. 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 Um, but yeah, I thought that was absolutely fucking awesome. I'm, get, I'm getting better, but I'm still not smart enough to find anything interesting about that one. I literally, <laughs> called it, I literally wrote down plain Jane. Like, I thought that this wow. Whoa. I thought that was boring as hell. I think That's I, so interesting. There's, there's definitely a contextual thing here because, like, both Noah and I picked up on this this key thing, botrytis, and the easiest way to pick up on that is, for me, this dried apricot on the nose. Mm. And it's really quite, no matter what variety, and that's how you, we know that it's botrytized, it, no matter what variety. Mm. Frozen yeah. golden circle juice box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that it's dry, that's the thing that really kind of got mm. my, my brain going because I'm like, wow, they have botrytis and they still made it into a dry wine. Yeah, that wouldn't happen in Germany. No. They would they'd be like, that is that is separate. That goes into the best wine we have. Constantine <laughs> Baum. <laughs> Please Apo comment on this. Apologies for the for the Germanic uh, accent. It was terrible. No, it could I, <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of those things where like understanding the context of things is what makes them more interesting because to me, I just tasted that and I was like, that's better. I mean, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, hundred percent. Like, you know, like arguably that is better. I find this more interesting. Yes, I find this better made. If you know that's, what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, that, no, the making yeah. of that is perfection. This one is like wildly fascinating. Yeah, and I'm just not smart enough to be fascinated by it. Is like honestly where we're at with it. I think. Well, I went yeah. with sixty five bucks, twelve, and I reckon I'll start. Uh, Eighty twelve Austria. Uh, Thirty two bucks, three Aussie. My fine Riesling. Reserva, that's um, Alsace. Into Alsace, well done. There we go. Well done. There we go. That's really cool. Daddy brought it in. Nice, man. There you go. That that, make, that makes sense why it's so fucking weird. Um, yeah, Daddy cool. brings in some some strange shit, but, but very happy for it. That's yeah, because really that's cool. actually classy as hell. That is mm. classy as hell, but very very. Fifty four bucks is pretty cheap. I actually think it's pretty cheap. I mean, can, like next to the Franklin Estate, you've got this like wacky like leasy oaky betriatized thing next to. You know, maybe like maybe the greatest reason in Australia, mm. um, but in a, maybe a different vintage. Then one of six. No dice. No, no dice? Mate. Nah, I didn't like it. Nah. <laughs> Give us a game. What? Wrong. I didn't like yeah, it. Please, please explain, good sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quite like this. Nah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Nah, I, I, I oxidatively handled. Yeah. Uh, Loved the floor. Like, yeah, there's there's a sort of yeah there is this sort of floor rancio aspect to it. Um, I just I don't crave that. I crave I crave this really. <laughs> yeah. Just for Riesling. Yeah. Okay. And I was like I was like I, like I've said I would pay thirty five bucks a bottle. It's probably not gonna. It's probably gonna be way more than that. I get that. I just yeah. I just I would buy a bottle. Cool. Thanks. Like. Try again. Like On the other hand, I thought this was fucking astounding and I absolutely <laughs> adored it. Uh, I love that yeah. nutty complexity. I think Riesling and that kind of oxidative handling actually works. Mm. I like high acid and like nutty salty things. So I thought this was really cool. Very, very but what is it? What, what is it? Well, when I was tasting it, I smelled it and was like, oh, they've thrown in some fortified dessert thing at the end here because it smelled mm. like that really sort of white sherry almost. Yeah, it's like sherry. Yeah. yeah, it smells like sherry because they use the same winemaking practice in sherry for this. Mm -hmm. So like they basically leave a little bit in the barrel so a layer of yeast can kind of protect it from oxygen but also interact it with oxygen. So it gets that like nutty thing. Mm. Um, this, I, it, I, I had the exact exact same thing as well. I smelled it and I was like, this is fortified. Yeah. Uh, but then I was like, floor. Yeah. But yeah, so I smelled it and went, oh, this is going to be super sweet. And then it wasn't. I was like, so you know how you were talking about that was interesting to you? 
This was interesting to me. So I got six mm. bottles of it for 50 bucks. I, I was 12 at 100. I thought this was fucking wacker. One yeah. and 35. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Who's Rip on? This is uh, Tazzy. This is Central Otago Riesling. That is not what I would have expected. I had it as Aussie. <laughs> Cl you were closer. Yeah. Geographically, you were closer. That's wacker. So a one off wine. Naturally fermented, held in barrel on primary lease for 10 months and bottled to Mike Lowe's 70th birthday and acknowledge all that she has given to this remarkable piece of land. So it's, a, it was, it's literally a birthday wine, bottled for someone's birthday. That's, that's awesome. cool. I think that's kind of cool as a bit of context, but I'm not sure if it's meant to taste like this. I, 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 I like <laughs> how it tastes. That's, that's yeah, maybe. I mean, it's I guess, it's, it, I guess it's the, the, he, the heavy lees work may have um, added that kind of Ooh. nutty thing. That's, it that's smells floor, like floor. Dude, it's, got, floor. it's got to be floor. I'm down for it. I'm so down for floor. Mm. Mm. And, and so happy 70th, Lolo. You, you've, you've earned yeah. it. Yeah, a Lolo. Hello. Lolo. Happy Lolo. 70th. Drink that to you. Yeah. It's not a hard conversation to have about wine in the lineup, is it? That is one of the best value wines we've ever had. We have ever had on the show in three, four years. Mm. Yeah. That is hands down. And the best thing is you can bending. get this everywhere. It's not just in Australia, you can get that everywhere. Like, Dr. Lucin is a big German producer, so you cool. can get this kind of anywhere you want. Dr. I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. 2022 Riesling is the one to buy from this episode. Yes, 100%. Cobalt that blue is, is my favourite colour. Cobalt yeah, blue is a sexy bottle colour. That is a sexy well. bottle That's bottle so colour. funny. It's it's so sexy. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, with that being said, how was the con the Aussie contingent was fucking epic too. So yeah. really, really strong lineup here. If you like Riesling, there's six. Was it Meadow, Meadow Bank or Dr. Lucent? Yeah. Good, yeah. good crowd. Also, pick. home and away. Yeah. Nice for a change for us. Uh, you guys know Riesling pretty well. And well done with your tasting notes this week. Like you nailed the first two and then you were nailed. Yeah, you jumped, you jumped on the Franklin Estate. That was a, that was a good team effort, I right? Yeah, mm. it was nice mm. that we... Oh, and man. I was here. So... <laughs> <laughs> I was here to witness it. Because what's the point of doing cool shit if your friends don't see it happen? You know? Yeah! <laughs> see you next week. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.